Um, mm, it's a Wodokov statue. Oh man, this has been awesome. Okay, so we are gonna head. We're gonna go ahead, and right now, this is where we're gonna end Poe One. Now, as a reminder, we are gonna be back for Poe One tomorrow morning. So what we're whoa, uh, uh, Barry, hold on. Hero, hero. Uh, mm. Anyway. So we're going to go back here for now. Uh, anyway, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EDT, we're going to be doing an all-day level of, or an all-day uh, stream of PoE 1. We're going to be working on the first, probably the Endless Paths, then story quests with other people, and then probably finishing up um, the DLC, or starting, I should say, the DLC too. But we're going to be doing a lot of end-game PoE stuff tomorrow, so I very much hope to see you there. It's going to be the whole time. Now, we're not done today yet. Uh, we are not done. We're going to go down to Exit. And we're going to fire up PoE 2, and I'm going to take a quick look at character creation. And see how that is. Cool. All right, for those that don't know, this is the bat. Let me let me explain this real quick for anyone that isn't here yet. This is not the full version of PoE 2. What this is, is the backer version of PoE. This was released a few months ago. You have seen people stream this. Um, this is, this is, we're not playing the game right now at all. All we're doing is looking at character creation. That's it. Uh, let me make sure we're in the proper mode and everything. Oh, font scaling. Nice. I haven't actually looked at these yet. This is the first time I've opened this. Um, okay, great. What are font ligatures? Turn those on. Let's see what our options are real quick. I haven't actually looked through here yet. Continue movement on engagement. Oh, that's an interesting selection. That may have been in the other one. Uh, enable telemetry? No, that's okay. Graphics we know about. Auto pause. Okay, very similar to last. Oh, we can auto pause on weapon ineffective. Cool. Okay. I don't, maybe that was in the last one, but. Look at that! Oh, how fun. So we can like pick where I want to be on the screen. How cool. Achievements, cool. Oh, set PO1 game stats. Uh, we'll do that later. That must not be in yet in the backer demo. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm sure a lot of these options were in PoE 1, but I, I just didn't look at them all. Uh, level scaling. Level scaling provides a consistent level of challenge to players when exploring dead fire. When, while enabled, enemies within a scene will adjust their level up or down depending on the player's character level relative to the intended level for the scene. I'm seeing some really weird artifacting. Is that because I turned on those weird things? Like see over quest? Is that that? No, it's not. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, that is what it is. Okay, yeah, it's gone now. Whatever that was. Okay, uh, start game. Oh, I don't want to watch the intro. We're going to save that for release. <laughs> nice. What mixer interface do I use? I use an RC505 loop station. All right, we'll probably be male. Race. Oh my God, look how good they look now. Damn. The Mighty Amar are the largest of the Kith races. Though not truly aquatic, they have an affinity for water and many of their civilizations such as Rawatai are based on naval dominance. Dwarf. 
looks good, looks good. This release is May 8th. Yep, May 8th. Oh, the elves look really good. Hell yeah, man. Godlike. Yeah. Human. And Orlin. Woo! Nice hair, bro. Hell yeah, man. Um. Now I'm planning on playing a druid. So I think I think I'll try. I'll probably go with human. Resolve contributes towards reducing hostile effect durations as well as improving will and deflection defenses. It reflects the character's internal drive, determination, and fearlessness. So it's the same. It's about the same. Okay. So we can be a ocean folk. Savannah folk. Oh, they get a they get a skill too. Oh no, they all, it's all the same. Okay. This is just uh, looks from looks of it. A meadow folk. All folk have an indomitable spirit that rises to the challenge when things look grim. Whenever a folk is below bloodied or near death, they gain a bonus to accuracy and damage. Oh, so uh, people would like to see the female look too. Sure. There's our Amua. Our dwarf. And they look great too. Damn, girl. Nice. And then these can be all sorts of different things. Oh, that's what we played the first time I played. That shit was crazy. Death God like look alien. That's just weird. That's pretty awesome. That almost looks like an elf. Hmm. Human female. Then here are the different variants. And then Orlin. What are Orlin variants? Wild or hearth? Okay. <laughs> Do you want extra furry or somewhat furry? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go with the human. We'll go with the meadow folk. I'd like to make a single class or multi class. Single class characters are entirely focused on their chosen class. They gain access to higher level powers more quickly. Multi class characters can select powers from two classes but gain access to higher level powers more slowly and cannot access their class's highest level powers. Multi-class multi -class characters are not recommended for new players. Let's look at single class first. Wow. Wait, what are all these? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. How do I go how do I go back? Oh, up here? There we go. Shanter. Oh yeah, look at this. Plus two bluff. Plus two history. Plus two arcana. Plus two sleight of hand. Plus two diplomacy. Oh cool. Oh wow, did Chanters get a little bit of a buff? There's a lot of stuff. Oh, these are all their phrases and things. Okay. Hmm. Paralyzes enemies in the area of effect. Hmm. Cool. Cypher. Metaphysics? Oh, that's fun. So these are passives and these are actives. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Here's what we're going to be. I want to be a druid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wild Strike Freeze? The druid's knowledge of the force of nature allows them to automatically inflict additional freeze damage when spirit shifted? Really? Hmm. And then greater freezes.
Hmm. A lot of these seem basic. Hmm. Rapid casting. Oh, that sounds huge. Okay. No, no, no. This is... Uh, real quick, real quick. Because uh, there's some people that are confused in chat. This is the backer demo. This is not PoE2. This is, this is the same thing that's been available for months. I'm just looking at it for the first time. Yeah. I was a backer for PoE2, so I have access to this. Resource discipline. Resource wounds. Secondary resource mortification. Oh, okay. Resource zeal. Resource base spells. Resource bond. I like the striker defender stuff. Guile? Interesting. Hmm. Alright, so let's let's be the druid. Uh, animist is the basic druid. Fury. Instead of an animal form, Fury's spirit shift into a storm blight. Elemental druid spells gain increased range and penetration. Killing an enemy while spirit shifted extends the duration. Um... Uh Oh yeah, sure, Barry, give me one sec. You want this on the main overlay? Okay. One sec, one sec. Um boop. And boop. Great. Thanks, Barry. Troubleshooting on the fly. We love it. Okay. Um, so this is interesting. So if you, it, like, this is a, a completely different way to play Druid. Then we have Life Giver. Druid rejuvena uh, Rejuvenation Spells cast with increased power level. Power level is a measure of the overall power of your character. All active spells and abilities are modified by power level and become more powerful as you gain levels. Some item spells and abilities may also influence your power level. The power level can never exceed 9,000. Okay. While Spirit Shifted, the Druid's power level bonus to Rejuvenation spells is greatly increased. So this is a healing variant. And we automatically learn a bunch of stuff. Oh, Penalty cannot cast Creature Summon spells. After Spirit Shift, the Druid receives a significant penalty to the power level of their spells. Until combat ends. Oh. How interesting. Man, this is almost like a class in itself. What are the Furies? Cannot cast healing spells as a Fury. Whoa. Shifters emphasize the spirit shifting capabilities of the Druid rather than their spell casting abilities. Unlike other Druids, shifters possess the ability to shift into any animal form. Shifters are known as isolated and antisocial Druids, often living as hermits far from civilization. Druid can switch to any of the spirit shifting animals once each per combat. Spirit shift has a longer duration. After a spirit shift ends, the Druid is healed a portion of their health automatically learn these druid spells cannot cast spells while in animal form that's our class that's our class yep that's our class hmm so the plan here the plan here is that we would precast all the abilities we want, go in, spirit shift, do all the spirit shifting we want to, do a bunch of damage, and then if we need to cast more spells, pop that form off, back out, do more casting, and then we can shift into a second form, I think. I think we can shift into multiple forms per combat. In fact, let's take a look at that. Uh, let's take a look at that. Highly recommended for Druid. Interesting. Okay, we'll do like five there. We'll do like 18 Intellect. A couple Might. Where are we from? Oh, wow. We pick like a history now? Um, 
Old Valia for the int. Sure. What was my job? Oh, look at this. Aristocrat, artist, colonist, dissident. Um... What is streetwise? Dude, we're gonna have so many conversation options. Oh my god, I have no idea. Let's do merchant. And we get to pick two weapon types. Um... There's wands and rods now? Uh, let's do scepter. And... Uh, I'm, I... I don't know what I'm going to use as a druid. I have no idea. I have no clue what we're going to use. Um... Wow. No idea. Um, I'm just gonna pick some stuff for now. I'll just pick, um... Staff and Scepter. Cool. Sounds good. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, we'll pick, uh, well, we need our druid, bro. Where, where's a good druid, bro? Look at him, he looks happy. Yeah, it almost looks like the same dude. Perfect, okay, great. Oh, we can pick our hair. I better have good, oh, hell yeah. Naughty dreads, man. Oh, yes! Here we go. Done. Let's go. I'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> sure. Pose? Oh, look at that! Wait, wait, what is hunched? <laughs> That's great. Roguish. Nice. I like that little I like that little hip turn there. You see that? Oh yeah, it's sassy. That's oh no, there is a sassy stance. <laughs> so sassy, there we go. Stoic. Or sullen. Kind of like heroic. Hell yeah, dude. Name is Watcher. We get five spirit shifts. Look at all this stuff, man. Now, one thing I want to try real quick, just for science. I wasn't going to play anything, but I'm very curious about this. Oh right my here. god, look at it. I got this. Oh, the camera follows your characters. Oh, this looks so good. Dude, look how everyone's like just seamlessly running in t on top of each other now, too. Hey, level. Ding. Cool. We'll do that later. Keep in mind, guys, you are you are looking at three plus months old gameplay. This is nothing like the real game is is light years of of uh, part of what you're looking at now. Um, this is this is an old demo that they purposely haven't been updating. I just wanted. I'm just trying to get to a place where we can have combat real quick because I'm very interested to see if we can ship. Whoa. What? Leave town by sea on foot? Wait, on foot? Okay. Wait, what? What is this? Senpu Beach? This is a cool new interface. Uh, investigate your surroundings. Choose a party member. Oh, look at this. Success. Sneak closer to observe. This is so cool. We get to, like, that, that makes it so easy. 
Sneak past the area. A failure. Ko is injured. Man, they have made this so much better. That is that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's test this. The whole reason we're here, let's test this. Where, where's my, where are my shape shifts? Wait, where are my shape shifts? Shouldn't I have my spells down here somewhere? Oh, here we go. Okay, bear first. Yeah, bear bro, get him. Ow. Oh wow, Ko's almost dead. Uh, back out, Ko. Run, run, Ko, run. Okay, now D shift. Wait, did he shift again? Oh, that was terrifying roar. Whoops. Okay. So shift into a boar. Yeah, there we go. Oh, now, now shift off. Now we can cast a spell. There it goes. Look, he's healing now. Awesome. And then we can go into form of a Stelgar. Oh, this is going to work great. This is going to work great. Oh, we're dead pretty much. But this is going to be awesome. Okay. This is going to This is going to be awesome. I am so dead. That's okay, though. Damn, I'm just missing, 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 aren't I? Yeah, misses, misses, misses. This is a cool little window down here. Oh, wait, I'm... Hold on, let me make this like it wasn't PoE 1. Uh, this. Ah, much better. Okay. There we go. Well, cool. All right, well, that actually worked out really well. Um, and I think we may have found our class. Now, the only thing else I wanted to look at, and we'll do this right now, is I want to see what multi-classing looks like. Uh, AJ Rags, and just to catch anyone up tuning in, uh, we are currently playing the backer demo. Yes, we are currently playing the backer demo. This is, this is not PoE 2. Well, it is PoE 2, but it's the, it's not the full version. Okay. Multi-class. Choose your first class. Druid. Shifter. Nature's Vigor. Choose your second class. And it has all the names here. Ranger is Beastmaster. Wait a second. I could be a druid shifter and have a pet? That's a cool idea. Hmm. Shift into bear and bear pet. I know, right? I know. But I don't really want to do ranger again is the thing. We, I mean, if we use bows or something, maybe, well. See, what's interesting here is if I preview the, the ability tree, though. Oh, here's the ranger. Okay, so we have two different ones. Um, that, that could be cool. That could be cool. We could also do... This is what I was planning on doing. I was planning on doing an aesthetic. Aesthetic. But then again, the more that I think about this, because wounds is the resource for the monk abilities, I don't know if that would synergize very well. Also, I'm not entirely sure which of these abilities would work in beast mode, which is essentially what we're going to be in. Uh huh. So we would have to do some, some playing around and see what works. Like, can I use... This, for instance, and the thing is, is we're never going to make our druid a tank. So you know what? The more I think about it, I don't think we're going to do a druid monk. I don't think we're going to do a druid monk. I was thinking about doing that, but... Hmm. Maybe we'll just do a druid. Hmm. A lot to think about. A lot to think about. 
if you tank and shapeshift well that's the thing i i don't check monk subclasses there's one that gives wounds by doing damage oh begin combat with more wounds hell monk hellwalker monk scheme might for each wound they have no generate wounds while receiving the bonus of drugs <laughs> wait what the Nals Pasca are an order of monks who meditate who meditate on the differences between the material and the perceived world through the use of mind altering substances. There's a drug class? That is amazing. <laughs> All right guys, we're about to uh, leave town. Do we have enough drugs for our monk? <laughs> Shattered pillar. Gain wounds by melee weapon damage. Oh, see. This is interesting because melee weapons are a specific type of item and shape-shifted druids use a specific type of item called claw. And from what I understand in the PoE world, claw is not a weapon it is like martial or unarmed so we need to test this that's that's what i'm trying to say we need to test this right now uh okay let's test it let's science it um You look pretty cool. You look pretty... <laughs> that would have been a much better portrait for the drug guy, but that's okay. That works. Okay. Just so now, we are a multi-class. You can see we have monk abilities here and druid abilities here. Um, now, can I find some easier combat, maybe? Because that guy kicked our ass. Maybe I'm supposed to level him up. I'm probably supposed to level him up. Let's just let's just pop some stuff in here real quick. I don't really care. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, another thing, by the way, that uh, I I and I read this multiple times on the uh, the Poe Reddit. A lot of the stuff in here is just placeholder. So even if we were to spec out a character and stuff in here, there's a very good chance that many things would change before release. So something to keep in mind. These are not, like, the end-all, be-all of the stats. At all, actually. Choose an ability for one class. What, what, what is this? Oh, wounds. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Mm, I'm just leveling stuff up right now. I'm just picking random things, essentially. Toxic damage. Ah, yes. Oh, we get to level up one from both. From monk and druid. How cool. If this if this shattered pillar works with the druid shift, I we might actually do this. Um let's just get level six first. Because I think that's the max level we can get. I don't I don't care what I get. Just grab stuff. Whatever. Whatever. We're here testing one specific thing. All right, there we go. So it looked like on my map that every every area around us is rude. So, um, yeah, we can always just be a junkie if that doesn't work out, right? Did Ko see you can make bombs and stuff? No, I didn't, but that's awesome. That's good to hear. Very good to hear. Okay, is there any, uh, like, a, what is supply? Oh, how cool! We just buy supplies in town. How great. Leave town on foot. Okay, so we exited the city to this area, and then that's going to bring up the second travel map where we actually move around. So. Wait, what is this? 
we looted that from the map? Wait, we can just move here? Oh, how weird. Am I going to randomly get attacked? Oh, I can loot this too. Well, shit. Um, okay. This is totally new and unexpected. Smells of the kitchens of Cade Nua. Uh, continue. Approach openly. Oh, hey, girl, what's up? Uh, okay. Oh my god. I just want to fight. Are you in trouble? Do you need help? Uh, we have nothing to fear. It smells amazing. We offer a gift that we may part in peace and you may preserve the sanctity of this place. Eat the mushroom. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, that, that works. What's this? This is a, uh, this reminds me of, like, Fallout. Daily wages. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see the follow camera. There we go. Nice. Hmm. So this must be the way that we explore little islands. Like that when we sail around on the map. Inter oh, look, here's a fight. Maybe that means it's a fight. Looks like the Wasteland 2 map a little bit. Yeah, it does. It looks like the Wasteland 2 map. You're right. Collect the baby boar. You scoop up the piglet, clamping your hand over its snout. You have gained an item. Baby boar! <laughs> but the boar's out of their misery. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Now, hopefully this... this there, we're, again, we're only testing, like, one thing right now. Oh, and there are the dead boars. Interesting. Okay, so we're just going to get everyone on him. Does the three skulls mean that we can't kill them? I'm a little confused by that. All right, before we go in, we want to make sure we shapeshift. And we're going to be looking at wound generation. That's a power. Is that wounds? That's, that's the monk power pool. Where are my wounds? Hmm. Can I use this? Oh, I did. Are those the wounds? There's a lot going on right now. Um, You're mine. This watcher, yeah, watcher's missing. You know what? I should have done this on a much easier difficulty. That was that was a problem. This is I should not have been doing this on that. Damn. Yeah, there was no way for me to look at that. Try this real quick. Oh, I have equipment and stuff. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do story. Here we go. Make this super quick. I'm just gonna speed up to where we were. Equipping gear would probably be pretty good. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard gear is useful in some situations. Oh, is any of this gonna carry over? Oh no, no, no. this is the demo. And this is. This is. This is. We're not doing. We're just messing around right now. We are messing around. Trying stuff out, seeing how it is. Here's Monk. We want to make sure we pick Shattered Pillar. Mm, all the might. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good point. Well done. Good name. Strong name. It's a strong name. Yep. Okay. Uh, now, hopefully, in the story mode, we don't have to do too much. Wait, can I just click this? What does this do? Oh, perfect. Okay, try one foot. I wonder if we can save it. F5 work? Oh, yeah, we're going to be playing more PUE 1 tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's warnings on these now. Interesting. Okay. 
So can I, can I like stop? Oh, look at that. You can hold down the right mouse and it'll follow. That's pretty cool. Can I not level here? Yeah, I guess I can't. I'm hoping we can level in the story here. Oh, that was an event that we didn't have to take. Oh. I thought we had to move through it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to level up as soon as we can here. Oh, Lord. Now, this looks like a location. Yeah, and we're getting a load screen here. Ah, so this is a location. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. There's our druid ability. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if it... Is it going to make us pick a monk ability? Yep, it's going to make us pick a monk ability. Interesting. Okay. We didn't have to that time. So it looks like every three levels we, we pick an ability for both. Interesting. Okay. Save it. Oh, God. Okay, go ahead. So we have four... I'm guessing... I'm thinking this has to be wound. It says mortification, but... I think that's just how many wounds we start the battle with. So we're going to go ahead and do Stalegar form. And we're looking at this number to go up. If we hit it. Right. Watcher, it's for 16. Okay. Watcher gains a wound! But where? Is it down? Is this it? Wounds, 3 of 5. There it is. Watcher gains 2 wounds! Oh my. Um, I don't have any wound abilities, do I? That's awesome. So it does work. So we may have to look at that um, whenever we return to this. Sometime next week! All right, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, we made a huge amount of progress in POE 1. We are at the end of the game in our POE 1 playthrough. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., we've got a full day of POE coming at you. We're going to be doing uh, the second DLC. We're actually probably going to start with the Endless Paths. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Endless Paths tomorrow and just try to make it as far as we can down there for the morning portion. Uh, then tomorrow afternoon, we'll probably go ahead and start the uh, second portion which is the DLC, I'm thinking. That, or we may focus on side quests to get that wrapped up. We'll see. Um, we will see. But we will do it soon. Should be awesome. Uh, as a note, as soon as we wrap up the PV1 playthrough, we'll probably uh, start Battletech back, back up. May even do a few full days of Battletech before uh, PV2 comes out. We'll have to see. Uh, but regardless, we'll be fun. And thank you guys for it. Yes, for those that, that didn't hear, uh, we do have... Uh, Julia has made us an incredible sipping water emote. And that is so because I'm actually trying to stay more hydrated. So it's something for you guys to spam whenever my uh, my chat says that. And uh, this is the new emote here. Now, it's already been submitted, but it's going to be in um, pretty much as soon as Twitch fixes their ish. Because emotes, apparently emote submission has been down like the last day. So nobody knows why and Twitch is working on it. But hopefully as soon as I get it done, we'll have our new Letho sipping water. And whenever you see chat mentioned that I'm supposed to take a drink, you now have an emote to spam to remind me. Should be pretty awesome. And as always, thank you, Julia. It looks amazing. So thank you for that. Can't wait to get that in. Uh, anyway, I am out of here for now. Uh, we 89 Beast with the 19 months. Almost dead dude with the 15. Jura Z with the 9 months. Thank you for that. Oh, you're working at Unity. How cool. Thank you for all you do, Jura. Joni Boy with the 10 months. Fayhad Flamex with a new sub. David with the new double sub. 
Thank you for that, buddy. Uh, we also have Smothered and Jam with the 27. Lotus Pod with the three years. Stevie D22 with the two years. Hollow Flash with the seven months. And Oni Kill with the seven months as well. Thank you all for the support. And for the last time for the day, good, good show, show to, to you, you friends. Friend. 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 Really do appreciate it. Awesome. All right, my dudes. I will see all of you fine folks pretty much as soon as I can tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EDT. Uh, hope to see you all here for a full day. A full day of POE goodness. And I hope you have an excellent morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are on the globe. Thank you for spending some of your life here. See you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for POE One Day. Bye-bye.